Hello everyone, this is Al, Red Sox fan, coming to you from Al, Red Sox fan, YouTube channel, hope all is well. We're going to bring you some Pro Strategy Football 2023, and it will be an alternate replay of the 1979 Sugar Bowl, number two, Alabama, the Crimson Tide, taking on number one, Penn State, and the Nittany Lions. I created these teams using the editor in Pro Strategy Football 2023. 23. I will be playing as Penn State. Will the Tide roll on to victory once again, or will the Nittany Lion reverse the past, roaring to victory? Kickoff is next. So we created these two teams in the editor. I ran some Sims. I ran some Sims. They seem fair. And, uh, so I'm going to play it out. This is an alternate replay, not as played. Uh, you can't make Alabama run the wishbone every play, unfortunately. Uh, they're pretty much a heavy running team. They run out of the full house and the wishbone. Two tight end set for balanced. And uh, four wide out for passing because you have to pick a passing formation. Jim L. Hope all is well. He's a big Alabama Crimson Tide fan. He says, hi, Al. Hope all is well. Roll Tide. So you have Bear Bryant coaching Alabama, Joe Paterno, and myself coaching the Penn State Nittany Lions. Let's run the sim. Penn State four-point favorites over under 24. It's a very close game um, in either way. But Penn State, about 68% of the time with a victory to 32% uh, for Alabama. Let me just say I ran some Sims and things did not work out well for Penn State. So we're going to coach it out and see if we can get to some victory. And reverse the nightmare of my 1979 New Year's Day as a child or a young person. How old was I? Nine years old. Nine years old. As they say in pro strategy football, let's do this, and we will play on expert. Penn State wins the toss. We will receive. McElroy to kick off for Alabama. The 1979 Sugar Bowl alternate replay on its way. Number one, Penn State versus number two, Alabama. Matsui racing down the sideline, 25, 30, and brought down. 27-yard return by Matt Suey. Penn State to start first and 10 at their 31. I want to go run formation. Pro I right. Uh, Alabama, we're not calling their defense. We're just going to show you a 4-3. For Penn State... Their offensive line in this Sugar Bowl at left tackle, Keith Dorney. Left guard, Eric Cuttingham. At center, Chuck Corral. Right guard, Jim Romano. Right tackle, Jim Brown. The tight end, Irv Pankey, who went on to be an offensive lineman, I do believe. Your wideouts, Bob Bassett. Scott Fitzke. Chuck Fusina is the quarterback for Penn State. Fullback Matt Suey. Halfback Booker Moore. Down four defensive linemen for Alabama in 1978, which is playing the 1979 Sugar Bowl. <clears throat> E.J. Jr., who was tremendous, went on to play for the Cardinals. Curtis McGriff. Marty Lyons, part of the sack exchange. Gary De Niro. Linebackers. Ricky Gilliland. Barry Kraus. Rich Wingo. I think he, would, he went on to play with the Packers, I think. Defensive backs, Don McNeil, Alan Crumbly, 
free safety, Murray Leg. Strong safety, Ricky Tucker. So on first and 10, we're going to go counter left. Booker Moore on first and 10. Alabama playing a zone. Here's the counter to Booker Moore. Moore to the left. Picks up three yards. Tackled, tackled by Gilliland of the Alabama Crimson Tide. Second and seven. Second and seven. Counter left Matsui on second and seven. Bama again playing zone. Matsui picks up two. It will leave a third and five for Penn State at their 36. Third and five for the Penn State Nittany Lions. We're going to go strong right. Strong right. Third and five. Play action fake. We're going to look for Scott Fitzke. On the quick out. Third and five. Hut, hut. Oh, Bama jumped. Bama jumped. That's going to give us a first down here. Encroachment. Defense. Encroachment on Alabama. Paul Bear Bryant not happy with that. First and ten for Penn State at their 41. Trap play Matt Suey on first and ten. Bama playing man. Suey up the middle. Not much at all. Stuff, no gain. Curtis McGriff and company bring down Matt Suey. Second and 10. Second and 10. Penn State, we're going to screen to more opposite motion of Scott Fitzke. Second and 10. Bama playing zone. Motion for Penn State. If you've seen it back to pass, screens the Booker Moore. Booker Moore gets to the outside. Swarmed down by the Crimson Tide. Crumbly will be credited with the tackle. It's a gain of five, third and five for Penn State. Ball at the Penn State 46, third and five. Wide receiver screen, Scott Fitzke. Man coverage for Alabama. Fitzke has it and he is swarmed under. No gain, quickly brought down by Rich Wingo. Fourth and five, Ricky Gilliland Goes limping off the field. Randy Scott might have to come in at linebacker. But Penn State is going to punt on fourth and five. They'll try to pin Bama deep. Scott Fitzke does the punting as well. Average is about 39 yards. Tony Nathan picks up two yards and then is popped. Uh, Fitzke had a high punt there. So Alabama takes over first and 10. Again, I can't make them play wishbone on every down. So they predominantly play a two tight end set, which is unfortunate. Hopefully they can fix that in the next version that you should you could be able to click on. And again, it's a pro, it's a pro strategy football, so it's the pro game. I created these college teams. JT 2.0 hope all as well. As he says, roll tie. The running backs, Billy Jackson. Tony Nathan, very good backs. The two tight ends, Alan Kraut, Rick Neal. The lone wideout, a shifty wideout, Keith Pugh. Offensive line for Alabama, Jeff Rutledge under center. From right to left, right tackle, Buddy Adelet. Right guard, Mike Brock. Center, Hall of Famer, Dwight Stevenson. Highest rated player in the game. Left guard, Vince Booth. Jim Bunch is at left tackle. For Penn State, we'll play a 4-3. Joe Lally, Bruce Clark, Tony Pertuccio, Larry Kubin. Linebackers, Lance Mel played for the Jets. 
Paul Sui, I believe that's brother of uh, Matt Sui. And then Matt Millen played for the Raiders. Defensive backs, Mike. Oh, I put Mike twice. It's only Mike once. Mike Gilson, Sinan, and Carl McCoy. Strong safety, Pete Harris. Free safety, Jim Dominic. So on first and 10, we're going to play man. I, I do not play zone. I hate that. We're going to play the run. And we're going to run blitz all of our linebackers. Safety will not run blitz. So first and 10, here comes the run blitz. <laughs> Rutledge hands it to Jackson. Billy Jackson doesn't get over the Tallahatchie Bridge. No gain. Brandon Lackey, Brandon Lackey says, was this Ed Luther's senior year? I don't know. I don't even know who Ed Luther played for. He was god-awful. Lasted about 10 years in the NFL, though. Hope all is well, Brandon. Second and 10. Second and 10. Because even though I made them a heavy run team, I'm going to play man-pass coverage here. Second and 10. Linebackers, free safety to read and react. Rutledge under center. Rutledge pitches to Billy Jackson. Jackson gets the outside. Big run for Billy Jackson. Picks up 15. Lance Mel drags him down. Brandon Lackey says, Larry Kubin was a good special teamer for the 80s Redskins. So a big run by Billy Jackson. Bama at their 33, first and 10. We're going to play man run coverage once again. And we're going to run blitz all of our linebackers. First and 10 for Alabama. Rutledge under center. Rutledge pitches to Billy Jackson. Jackson strung out, knocked out of bounds. Two-yard loss. Excellent pursuit by the Nittany Lions. Second and 12. Full house backfield. Whitman, Oglevy, and Tony Nathan. Rutledge under center. Neil and Kraut are your wide out. Second and 12. We're going to play man run on second and 12. Rutledge, Major Ogilvy to the left, picks up two yards. Matt Millen brings him down quite rudely. So it's going to be third and 10. Four wide outs. Again, you would have never seen this in real life, but... I can't stop them from doing this. Pew, Beltran to one side, Inker and Bolton to the other. Nathan alone setback, Rutledge under center. Penn State will counter with a 3-3 nickel. Man coverage. Suey will blitz the middle. And we're playing pass. Big third and ten for Rutledge and the Tide. Rutledge is scrambling and he is sacked. Joe Lally, 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 get your adverbs here. Joe Lally with the seven-yard sack of Jet Ru Jeff Rutledge. Bama will be forced to punt with Umphrey. He averages about 39 yards, punting from his 10. Penn State holds. Here comes Matt Sui racing down the sidelines. 11-yard return by Matt Sui. Ball spotted at the Penn State 43. Ricky Gilliland is okay for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Will be back on the field on defense. 8.33 to play in this scoreless first quarter of the 1979 alternate replay of the Sugar Bowl. Fusina under center. On first and 10. We're going to go pass. Medium pass, play action fake. Suey and Moore will stay in the block. Fitzky is going to run the fade. Bassett is going to run a cross. Panky is going to stay in and block. First and ten. Fusina back to pass, has time. There's the fade to Fitzky, incomplete. Bad pass by Chuck Fusina. So it's going to be second and 10 for Penn State at their 43. Trap play, Booker Moore on first and 10. 
Bama playing zone defense. Here's the trap. Booker Moore explodes through the hole. Gets close to midfield, six yards, before he's brought down by Barry Krause. Third and four for the Nittany Lions. Ball at the Penn State. They move it back a bit. Ball at the Penn State, 49. Third and four. Third and four. Suey will motion out of the backfield. Counter left. Booker Moore on third and four. Bama playing man. Three down linemen. Booker Moore. He's got the first down. Bust through a tackle. Tripped up at the Bama 37. Booker Moore goes for 14. Leg on the stop for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Penn State first and 10 at the Alabama 37. Yes. I dropped soda on, or dropped my salsa on the carpet, so if you step over there by the couch and I flat, if you can okay. just All right. Nurse Teresa made a mess. Did everyone hear that? I have witnesses. Nurse Teresa made a mess. It's okay, honey. It's okay. No, I just don't want you to freak out if you step in something wet. I would have thought the dog did something bad. All right, here we go. I, I heard I heard something drop, mind you. All right, here we go. Back to the football game. First and ten. Let's run. Let's run that uh, dive. Matt Suey on first and ten. Bama playing man four down lineman. Matt Suey is stuffed. Suey is stuffed. No gain. Marty Lyons on the tackle. Second and ten. 7.05 and counting in this first quarter. Second and 10. We're going to go strong right. Fitzke will motion left. And... Pitch left, Booker Moore. Man coverage for Alabama. There's the pitch to Booker Moore. Picks up some blocks. Gets to the outside. Nice move. First down by Booker Moore. Gain of 11. Don McNeil tripped him up. Nice job by Booker Moore. Booker Moore will come out of the game. And we're going to go big bat. We're going to bring in Mike Gooman. So it's going to be Gooman and Matt Suey. And we're going to run a trap to Gooman. Gooman up the middle. Tough run by Matt Gooman. Mike Gooman, excuse me. Gain of six. He went on to play for the Rams. Dave Gardner's here. How you doing, buddy? Second and four. Trap to Mike Gooman again. Gooman gets a nice block. First down. Penn State. Rich Wingo on the stop of Mike Gooman. That's a gain of five. Trap play to Matt Suey now. Suey bust through! Oh! Inside the five, they'll bring it back a bit. Spotted at the five, a 10 yard run for Matt Suey. Suey! First and goal for Penn State at the Alabama five. 436 and counting in this first quarter. Dwayne Martz has joined us from Dwayne Martz YouTube Network. Check out that wonderful channel. Of course, check out Dave Gardner. His YouTube channel, Digital Dice, with his partner in crime, Ron Juckett. And we have Brandon Lackey, JT 2.0. And, of course, Jim L. Hope all is well. So first and goal for Penn State. Counter right, Mike Gooman on first and goal. Alabama playing for the run. Mike Gooman is stuffed. One-yard loss, Gary De, uh, De Niro on the tackle. So it's second and goal. Gooman will come out. Booker Moore will come in. So it's Suey and Booker Moore. We're going to go strong. Oh, sorry. We're going to go strong left. So Panky goes over to the other side. Fitzky outside of him. Second and goal. Pitch left. Booker Moore. 
Can he gain the corner and the end zone? There's the pitch. Booker Moore. Touchdown. But there's a flag on the play. Beautiful cut by Booker Moore. What is the flag? Will the Penn State touchdown hold? Richard Atone says, oh my, this looks great. I remember this game. Paterno versus Bryant. Alabama's goal line stand. Great game. Yes. Ruined my New Year's day. But Alabama deserved to win that game. Offsides. Offsides, Alabama. Offsides, Alabama. Penn State will decline. 6 nothing. Penn State. Let's watch the re. Where's the replay? I want to watch the replay. Nuts. Let's. Oh, replay. Here it is. Slow motion. Alabama jumped. Booker Moore starts the outside, cuts back in, and is in like Errol Flynn. Booker Moore with an ST plunge. Six nothing. Penn State. Three twenty one to actually two fifty five to play in the first. Three twenty one to play. Excuse me. Here's the extra point by Matt Barr. It's good. 7-0 Penn State. Matt Barr to kick off. He will kick deep. Alabama down 7-0. 3.21 left in the first quarter. From the two comes Tony Nathan. Nathan, 20. Cuts the outside. Shimmy Shams, 30. 35. Brought down by Penn State Pursuit. A 31-yard return by Tony Nathan. Alabama starts first and 10 at their 35. Penn State with a 4-3. Alabama, two tight ends set. Jackson and Nathan are your running backs. Neal and Kraut, the tight ends. Pew to the outside. A shifty, dangerous receiver. We're going to play man-run coverage. Run blitzing all of our linebackers. Dominic will stay back, read and react. Put, put. Rutledge pitches to Tony. Nathan, Nathan, stopped. As he tried to get to the outside, Larry Kubin and company say none shall pass. Second and ten. Bernard Stroms joined us. How you doing, my friend? Bernard Stroms, sports replay fan channel. Awesome! Bernard has started his channel. So please go there and subscribe. That would be awesome. I will have to do that when I'm done. So that, once again, is Bernard Stroms, sports replays fan channel. Second and ten. Rutledge brings the Bama offense to the line of scrimmage. We're going to play man pass coverage on second and ten. Rutledge barks out the signals. Motion for Bama. Rutledge to throw. Incomplete looking for his second tight end, Allen Kraut. Penn State all over that. Four wide out set. Again, this is an alternate replay if you're just joining me. I cannot make Alabama run. I wish I could. I can't make them run the wishbone on every down, in, and in reality, that's what they did. Bolton and Inker to one side, Pew and Beltrain to the other. We're going to go 3-3 three, three nickel. Blitz Suey right up the middle. That is Paul Suey, I believe the brother of Matt. And we're playing pass. So third and ten for Rutledge in Alabama. Rutledge to throw. He has time throwing deep. Complete to Beltrain crossing midfield. Flag on the play. That was a gain of 17. Will it stand? Holding. No. Oh, yes. Defense. Holding on Penn State. Alabama declines. Crimson tied first and 10 at the Nittany Lion 48. Rutledge brings them to the offensive uh, line of scrimmage. Jackson and Nathan are your backs. Penn State quickly sends out their 4-3. And we play man-run coverage. And, of course, I like to run blitz. But keep the free safety back. First and ten for Alabama. Blitz. Pitch out. Jackson brought down three-yard loss. Billy Jackson wrapped up by Joe Lally and a plethora of Nittany Lions. Second and 13 for Alabama. Under two minutes to play in this first quarter. Penn State seven. Alabama nothing. We see the wishbone strong right for the first time for Alabama. Jackson, Oglevy, and Nathan are your backs. Second and 13. We'll play man-run coverage out of the 4-3. Rutledge, quick hitter to Beltrain. Wrapped up by Carl McCoy. That'll go for three yards. So third and 10. Third and 10. Yes, Keith Jackson. That would be awesome. You can put Keith Jackson in the game. There's ways to do it. 
under the audio set, I believe. Someone might have already done it. You just have to look for it. Third and 10, four wide for Alabama. Penn State, we're going to stick with a 4-3 on third and 10 and play a two-deep zone. And play pass. Rutledge, third and long. Rutledge throws. Incomplete. Try to thread the needle to Keith Pugh. Lance Mel got his hand on it for the Nittany Lions. It will force a punt. 35 seconds left in the first quarter. Umphrey to punt. From about his 35. Averages about 39 yards. Here comes Mike Gooman. Gooman cuts to the right. A nice return by Mike Gooman of 13 yards. Penn State will start first and 10 at their 27. 28 seconds left in the first quarter of the 1979 Sugar Bowl. We're going to go pitch left with Booker Moore. Alabama playing zone. Booker Moore brought down in the backfield. As Bama swarms to the ball, and there's that young man, E.J. Jr. Big things coming up for E.J. Jr., we feel. Loss of two. Second and 12. Clock is running. Trap play, Matt Suey. Will they get the playoff before the end of the first quarter? Nope. One quarter down. In the Sugar Bowl between number one Penn State and number two Alabama. 7 nothing Penn State. We switch sides. Trap play on second and 12 to Matt Suey. Bama playing man. Suey up the middle. Cuts to the outside. Knocked out of bounds. Nine yards for Matt Suey. Suey bounced off three would-be tacklers. Got to the outside. Picks up nine. Third and three. Third and three. Third and three. We're gonna go with a two tight end set. Panky and Cab. Fitzky the lone wide out third and three from the Penn State thirty four. Moore and Suey are the running backs. Trap play to Matt Suey. Once again, on third and three. If you've seen a Suey up the middle, first down. Good job by the Nittany Lion O-line. Rich Wingo on the tackle, but it's four yards for Suey. Penn State moves the chains. Another set of downs. Ball at the Penn State 38. Trap play to Booker Moore now, out of the two tight end set. Booker Moore. Good run by Booker Moore. Booker Moore. Stays low, picks up eight, brought down by Barry Krause, second and two. Trap play, Booker Moore. Bama, everyone up in the box. Booker Moore, first down, bust through, big run. Fumbles, Alabama, who has it? Who has it? Penn State, I think, recovered. I don't know. Yes, Penn State. Oh, wow, Alabama almost forced a huge turnover. But Penn State recovers the Booker Moore fumble. Booker Moore might have actually got it back at the bottom of that pile. Let's just... Have Booker Moore go out. Bob Torrey will come in. So it's Torrey. Let's have Suey go out. Mike Gooman comes in. Two tight end set. Penn State looking to run the ball here. Trap play to Torrey. Torrey gets the carry. Not much at all. Struggles for a yard. Second and nine. Second and nine. Torrey will come out. Booker Moore will come back in. And we will go to a power eye left. Power eye left. Outside run. Pitch left on second and nine. There's the pitch. Booker Moore turns the corner. Nice run by Booker Moore. E.J. Jr. in pursuit with the tackle. Third and four for Penn State. Third and four for the Penn State Nittany Lions at the Alabama 34. They lead 7-0. Trap play, Mike Gooman. Alabama playing the run. It's a run blitz. Gooman, first down. Mike Gooman, seven yards, would not be denied. Bouncing off the pile. Knocked out of bounds. First and 10 for Penn State. 
at the Alabama 27. Gooman and Moore are your backs. Fitzke will go in motion. Pitch right, Booker Moore on first and ten. Bama playing zone. Fusina pitches to Booker Moore. Booker Moore brought down in the backfield. Loss of three. Marty Lyons brings down Booker Moore of the Nittany Lions. Bob Bassett trying to make a block goes limping off the field. Kip Vernaglia will come in at wideout. So Booker Moore gets a breather. And let's go with uh, Matt Sui back in and we'll move Mike Gooman. As the halfback. Second and 13. Hey, diddle, diddle. Mike Gooman up the middle. Bama playing zone. It's Mike Gooman. Picks up a block. Gets to about the 25. They'll spot it at the Alabama 26. Gain of four for Gooman. Third and nine. Third and nine. Gooman goes out. Booker Moore comes back in on third and nine. Screen to Booker Moore. Opposite motion of Scott Fitzke. Third and nine. Bama's defense beginning to tire. Bama playing zone. Fusina screens. Booker Moore. Booker Moore gets to the outside. He's got the first down racing for the end zone. Tripped up at the Alabama 10. That's a gain of 16. Chuck Fusina to Booker Moore. As Alabama could not close the door. Another set of downs. First and goal for Penn State at the Bama 10. Booker Moore needs a breather. Bob Torrey will come in. Torrey, pitch left. On first and 10. There's the pitch to Bob Torrey. Torrey gets to the outside. Picks up three. They'll spot it at the Alabama 7, tackled by Ricky Gilliland. So second and goal for Penn State. Fusina brings the offense to the line of scrimmage. Trap play. Matt Sui on second and goal. Sui up the middle, not much. Picks up two. Barry Krause and the rest of the tide swarm over. Matt Sui, third and goal. Third and goal. Veranglia. In for the injured Bassett to one side, Fitzke to the other. Torrey goes out. Booker Moore comes in. Third and goal from the Alabama five. Pitch right, Booker Moore on third and goal. There's the pitch, Booker Moore. Touchdown, Booker Moore. He turns the corner and is in. Booker Moore with a five-yard touchdown run. Penn State looking good here. Here's the replay in slow motion. And again, why Alabama's playing zone down on the goal line, I don't know. Bassett seems all right for Penn State. Here's the extra point by Matt Barr. The kick is good. 14-0 Penn State. Midlife crisis. Wow, I remember exactly where I was watching this game. Evening. I remember too, my friend. Hope all is well. Now, after this game is done, I will show you the game I watched all the way through. Computer versus computer. And I'm going to tweak these teams and again, I can play differently because I'm coaching, but I'm going to tweak them a little bit. Possibly. Penn State to kick off. Up 14-0. Matt Barr to kick off. Penn State sidelines quite happy so far with the results. From the two comes Lou Inker. Inker racing down the sidelines. Gets to the 30. Brought down. 26-yard return. So here comes Alabama. First and 10 at the 30. Two tight end set. Two backs. Pew the lone wide out. We will play man run 
and we're going to run Blitz, except for our free safety, Dominic, read and react. Rutledge under center. It's a give. Billy Jackson bounces outside, strung out, out of bounds, no gain. So second and 10. We'll play man pass. They're probably going to run, but we're going to hedge our bet. Rutledge a throw. Incomplete to Neal. Pete Harris on the coverage of Rick Neal. So it's going to be third and 10. If you're just joining us, I cannot make Alabama run the wishbone on every play. I wish I could. I really do. I love the wishbone. You have to pick one pass formation, one balance formation, at least one run formation. The run formations are full house for Alabama and uh, wishbone. The one balance set is a two tight end set. And the one pass play, passing formation that you must pick in this game out of all of them, I picked four wideouts. So third and ten. We're going to play pass. Two deep zone on third and ten. Sui to blitz the middle. And we're going to stunt our down four. Third and ten for Rutledge and Alabama. Rutledge is going to get sacked. We got him. He scrambles, and we got him. Actually, he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Out of bounds. Fourth and ten. Home free to punt. 6-19 left in the half. 14 nothing. Penn State. This Sugar Bowl is going much better than in real life. Mike Gooman waves his hand for the fair catch on the 36-yard punt. 6-13 to play in the first half. Suey and Moore are your backs. Fitzke will motion, and we will pitch right with the motion. Alabama's defense been on the field quite some time. There's the pitch to Booker Moore. Booker Moore. No gain. Marty Lyons and company string that play out. Second and ten. Let's run clock here. Second and ten. Medium pass of fade, play action fake. We're going to look for Fitzky. Sui and Moore will stay in the block. So will Panky. So we're looking for Scott Fitzky on the fade. If you see him back to pass, has time. Fitzky incomplete. Bad pass by Chuck Fusina. Midlife crisis is. Lying on my stomach in our family room, watching it on the big screen, console TV. One of those where the console was twice the size of the tube. Ha, ha, ha. Heartbroken. Paterno, way too conservative in that game. Yes, he was. So that was midlife crisis, remembering when he watched. Was it the entertainment center? We had one of those. Yeah, the TV's like in the middle. And then you had a uh, turntable, uh, the record player, and the radio. And it weighed 5,000 pounds. Third and 10 for Penn State at their 34. 523 left in the first half. 14 nothing Penn State Nittany Lions. Let's go Bassett. Play, uh, no play action fake. Let's have Booker. Send him in motion. Fitzky. Fitzky will run. A cross. We're going to look for Fitzky. Uh, no, we're going to look for Bassett. Suey and Panky will stay in the block. Here we go. Third and ten. Fusina trying to convert. Fusina is going to be sacked. Tremendous pressure right up the gut on Chuck Fusina. Gary De Niro. Uh, De Niro with the sack, 4th and 17, that will force the Nittany Lions to punt, and it'll be Scott Fitzke to do the punting. So Alabama gets a big defensive stop there. Four, oh, offsides. I think I think Penn State did something bad there. Fitzke with the punt. Tony Nathan immediately hit as he struggled for a one-yard gain. Illegal procedure. Alabama declines the illegal procedure on Penn State. Pops Review has joined us. Hope all is well. Check out that wonderful channel. 
So first and 10. We're going to play a 4-3. Defensive line will play normal. Actually, we're going to play our defensive line. Yeah, we're going to play them normal. We're going to continue to run blitz on first and 10. Our free safety, Dominic, will stay back to read and react. Rutledge under center. He will take the snap. Rutledge gives it to Nathan. Nathan stuffed. One yard loss. Tony Pertuccio and the Nittany Lions swarm to the ball. Second and 11. We will play man pass coverage. Our defensive line will play in tight. Try to get pressure right in the face of Jeff Rutledge. Rutledge barks out the signals. Rutledge to throw. Rutledge under duress. Throwing deep. Incomplete. Pass intended for the tight end, Alan Kraut. Third and 11. We'll play a two deep zone. And we're going to stunt our down four. Blitz. Paul Sui, brother of Matt, right up the middle. Rutledge on third and 11. Rutledge throws. Complete to Pugh. First down near midfield. Keith Pugh found the seam in the zone. Tackled by Lance Mel. So a big conversion by Alabama. Again, we're going to play 4-3, two deep zone. Defensive line in tight. And we will play pass. Alabama, four wide set. Nathan up the middle. Tony Nathan for four yards. Lance Mel on the tackle. Jim Bunch for Alabama. The left tackle goes limping off the field. Barry Smith comes in. Wishbone on second and six. We're going to go to man, run man coverage here. Second and six. We're going to play the run. Our defensive line will play normal. And Sui will run blitz the middle. Second and six, 306 and counting. Alabama down 14 nothing. First half coming to an end of the 1979 Sugar Bowl. Rutledge, Major Oglevy first down. Nice move by Major Oglevy. Bouncing, bouncing right, excuse me. Lance Mel on the tackle. Alabama has at the Penn State 41. Jackson and Nathan are your backs. Kraut and Neal, the tight ends. Pew, the wide out. We're going to play man run coverage on first and 10. Hut, hut, hut. It's the two minute warning. We go to the two minute warning. And again, we're going to play ball at the 41. We're going to play the run, man run coverage. Hut. Rutledge to throw. Complete to Neal, immediately tackled. Joe Lally limits Neal to a three-yard gain. Alabama in the hurry-up offense. Penn State will go to a two-deep zone. Defensive line will play in tight. Linebackers, safeties to read and react. Rutledge, second and seven. Rutledge, delayed handoff. Tony Nathan, stuffed. Great reaction by the Penn State Nittany Lions. No gain, third and seven. Rutledge brings the offense to the line of scrimmage. Penn State, 4-3, two deep zone. Rutledge to throw. Complete. No, off the fingertips of Beltron. Lance Mel in the coverage. Fourth and seven. Alabama to punt. That would be a penalty on Alabama there. Goes out at the five. We're going to accept the penalty. Bama to punt over. So Umphreys will try to do it again. There's the punt by the Crimson Tide. And that's going to bounce into the end zone. So good job taking the penalty. Jim Bunch seems okay. Word from the Alabama sidelines. 104 to play in the first half. 14 nothing Penn State. We will just pound this ball right in the middle. And run this clock out. Booker Moore to get the carry. Booker Moore picks up five or six. Six-yard gain. Matt Suey to get the carry now. Alabama's defense huffing and puffing. Suey first down. That's going to run out the half. 
Penn State will go to the locker room with a 14-0 lead. First half of the 1979 alternate replay of the Sugar Bowl. I'm trying to get revenge on the Alabama Crimson Tide. We start the third quarter. Penn State to kick off. There's the kickoff by Matt Barr. Bama down 14-0. Inker takes it across the 25. They'll spot it at the 26. Good coverage by the Penn State Nittany Lions. Alabama first and 10. Rutledge under center. Jackson and Nathan, your backs. Neil and Kraut, your tight ends. Pew the lone wide out. We're going to play man run coverage, and we're going to run blitz. And I don't want to play zone, so here we go. On first and 10. Rutledge. Billy Jackson bounces to the outside. Nice run by Billy Jackson. Picks up five. It looked like Penn State had him wrapped up for no gain. Bama brings the offense to the line of scrimmage. We're going to play man run coverage. No blitzers. Defensive line in tight. Billy Jackson. Stuffed two-yard loss. Bruce Clark blew up that play and blew up Billy Jackson. So third and seven, we're going to go back to, actually, you know what we're going to do here? Let's go to a 3-3 three, three nickel, man coverage, Suey blitzes the middle, and we're playing pass. Third and seven, can Rutledge convert here for the Alabama Crimson Tide? Rutledge rolls a bit, looks, throws back the other way, complete to Bolton, first down. That's a big first down for the Alabama Crimson Tide, gain of 12, Rutledge to Bruce Bolton. No relation to Michael Bolton. Bama, wishbone now. Penn State, once again, will bring out their 4-3. And we're going to play the run on first and 10. It's a reverse to Beltrain. Ridden out of the bounds. Only a one-yard gain. So Bear Bryant goes to some shiftiness. Doesn't work. Second and nine. Full house backfield. Jackson, Ogilvy, and Nathan for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Second and nine. We're going to play the run on second and nine. Rutledge to throw. He's throwing deep. Complete to Neal. Gain of 21. Pete Harris just tripped him up from behind. A huge play by the Alabama Crimson Tide. First and 10 at the Penn State 37. We're going to play the run out of the 4-3 once again. Pitch out to Billy Jackson. Jackson gains the corner, but not much after that. Two yards. Lance Mel on the tackle. Second and eight will play 4-3 man run. Rutledge to throw. Rutledge throwing deep middle. Pew off his fingertips. Carl McCoy might have got a hand on that for Penn State. Third and eight. Penn State will play pass. And a 3-3 nickel. Man pass coverage. We're going to blitz Suey right up the middle. Third and eight. Motion for Alabama. Rutledge screens to Tony Nathan, and he is wrapped up. What a play by Lance Mel. No gain. Fourth and eight. Umphreys to punt once again for midfield. 14-0 Penn State. Penn State only gave up nine points when you averaged everything out per game in 1979. 78, excuse me. Alabama gave up about 14 points. Great punt by Alabama. Penn State starts first and 10 at their six. Trap play, Matt Suey. Suey, good run, takes it to the 10. Five yards, but a flag on the play. Holding. Holding on Alabama. Penn State accepts first and 10. At their 11. Trap play to Matt Suey again. Penn State running up the gut. Suey struggles for one. They'll spot him a two-yard game. Barry Kraus and the Tide bring him down. Second and eight. Booker Moore pitch left. Booker Moore pitched left on second and eight. Zone coverage for Alabama. There's the pitch to Booker Moore. Booker Moore gains the corner. He's close to the first. Yes, first down. Good tough run by Booker Moore. Make sure we're running clock here. 
So first and 10, Fusina brings the Penn State offense to the line of scrimmage. Fitzke will motion right. And again, we're going to go pitch left. Booker Moore, opposite motion. Man coverage for Alabama. They need a big play on defense. Booker Moore gets the corner. Seven yards, eight yards. Extra effort by Booker Moore. Second and two. So it's Moore and Suey in the backfield. Actually, let's get Booker Moore out. We're going to bring in Mike Gooman. And we're going to trap Mike Gooman right up the gut. Let's trap with Mike Gooman. Zone coverage on second and two. Mike Gooman first down, just barely, but he gets it. Gain of three. Penn State moves the chains. We're going to give it to Matt Suey. Counter left, Matt Suey. Here's the counter. Suey, nice run. Cuts back middle. Plows for six. Curtis McGriff with the tackle. Counter left. Mike Gooman now. Penn State keeping this ball on the ground. Mike Gooman, he will not get there. Needed four, got three. Boyd on the... There is no Boyd. Uh, I was trying to get the... I used... Because it's tough to get... I used college reference... I used second and ten, and I used action PC football to try and online looking for, you know, players or first names and things like that, and putting all the statistics I could find in ratings and coming up with my own ratings. Action PC had a guy named Boyd. I couldn't find a guy named Boyd on the, so I think it's a typo on their part, but. Second and 10 didn't have Boyd. Second and 10 had a guy that I didn't even see on the roster <laughs> on Alabama when I found their roster. So he makes the tackle. That's the one thing when you're trying to make old college teams. It's kind of, it's not, if you can find the stuff, it's fun to make. Whether, you know, I used everything I had at my disposal. The football games I own, um, online searches, so it was a lot of fun. Took me some time, though. Third and one. Third and one. You know we're going trap play here on third and one. Trap play, Mike Gooman. Here we go. Third and one. Six minutes and counting. Gooman. No! Bounces outside. He's stopped. Alabama stops Mike Gooman. No gain. Marty Lyons. What a job by Marty Lyons and the Alabama defense. Fourth and one from the Penn State 41. We will punt. So Scott Fitzke will punt. Bama down 14-0. Fitzke punts from his own 25. Tony Nathan, not much on the return at all. 37-yard punt, one-yard return. 5.13 left in the first quarter, uh, third quarter, excuse me, 14 nothing Penn State. Penn State will play man-run coverage, and we will run blitz everyone. Oh, let's get out of that 3-3 three, three nickel. Let's go 4-3. Run blitz everyone but the free safety, Dimonick. Rutledge gives it to Billy Jackson, runs into the run blitz. Run blitz, no gain. Second and 10. We're going to play man-pass coverage, 4-3. Motion for Alabama. Rutledge gives it to Nathan. Nathan busts out of the pile. Nathan busts out of the pile for eight yards. Brought down by Jim Dominic. So second and two, we will play the run. Defensive line will play normal. And we're going to run blitz all of our linebackers. Free safety Dominic to read and react. Third and two. Third and two for Alabama. This is huge. Bama. Billy Jackson, he's got it. What an effort by Billy Jackson. They needed two, he got to. Bama moves the chains. Now Bama tries to stretch out this Penn State defense. Penn State quickly reacts with a 3-3 nickel. And we're going to play man-run coverage, even if they have a passing formation. Motion for Alabama. Rutledge gives it to Tony Nathan. Yeah, we read your book, Bear Bryant. Paul Suey, brother of Matt. With the tackle, one-yard loss on Tony Nathan. Full house backfield, strong right for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Penn State matches that with a 4-3 man run. 
on second and 11. Motion out of the backfield. Rutledge to throw. Rutledge with a lot of time. Rutledge underneath to Major Oglevy, the safety valve. He picks up six. It makes it a much more manageable third and five. Alabama, Pew, Beltrain to one side, Inker and Bolton to the other. We're going to go 4-3, man pass. No safety help here. On third and five. Everyone up for Penn State. Rutledge throws. Beltrain makes the catch, but it is immediately tackled by Lance Mel. One yard short. Fourth and one. Bama to punt. With under two minutes to play in the third quarter of the Sugar Bowl, 1979, number one Penn State, number two Alabama, 14 nothing Penn State. Suey fumbles, and Alabama has the ball. Alabama has the ball. Matt Suey got popped. It was a high punt by Woody Umphrey, and Matt Suey got shimmy shammed. European uppercut. The ball comes loose, and the Crimson Tide have it. Will they roll? A huge play by the Alabama Crimson Tide special teams. Bear Bryant revving up his offense. You've got to do it now. You've got to do it now. Jackson and Nathan, your backs. Pew the wide out. Kraut, Neal, the two tight end set. Penn State, man, run. 4-3, blitzing everyone but the free safety. On first and 10 from the Penn State 22. Alabama pitches to Billy Jackson. Jackson to the right. Not much at all to the outside. Only one yard. Lance Mel makes the important tackle there for the Nittany Lions. Second and nine. We will play the pass. 4-3 man pass coverage now. Rutledge gives it to Nathan. Nathan bounces outside. Stiff arm, but would-be tackler before Lance Mel in pursuit brings him down. Six-yard gain for Tony Nathan. Third and three. Third quarter coming to an end. Bama on the Penn State 15. Third and three. Run blitz. Except the free safety. We're going to play 4-3 man run. Penn State defense beginning to tire. Rutledge. Billy Jackson stuffed. No gain. Tony Pertuccio and the Nittany Lions stop Billy Jackson. Alabama will attempt the field goal. But the third quarter comes to an end. 15 more minutes left in this Sugar Bowl. 14 nothing as we begin the fourth quarter. Number one, Penn State trying to win the national title for the first time with Joe Paterno as coach. Number two, Alabama trying to crush their hopes and dreams. McElroy for the field goal. The kick is up, and good. So Bama on the board. It's now 14-3, Penn State. Here's the kickoff by McElroy. 14-54 left in the Sugar Bowl. From about the 11 comes Coles. Racing cuts to the outside. Nice return by Coles. 27-yard return by Joel Coles. Penn State starts first and 10 at their 40. It is Suey and Gooman in the backfield. Mike Gooman on the dive play. Gooman accelerates, crosses midfield, and is popped. But I think that flag, I believe the flag will be on Penn State. Illegal procedure. Offense. So illegal procedure, Penn State. Gooman on the dive play again on first and 15. Gooman bounces outside, no place to go but down. That is a loss of one. Curtis McGriff and company on the stop. Second and 16. Penn State running clock. They're up 14 to 3. Second and 16. Gooman will go out. Booker Moore will come in. Pitch left, Booker Moore. Second and 16. Fusina to Moore. Moore struggles for a two-yard gain. Alabama swarming to the ball, trying to create yet another turnover. Third and 14. Third and 14. 
Reverse to Scott Fitzke on third and 14. Zone coverage for Alabama. Here's a reverse. Fitzke turns and is knocked out of bounds. Only a gain of three, and he goes out of bounds. Clock starts up again, fourth and 11. Penn State to punt with Scott Fitzke now. 12-31 and counting in this football game. Between number one Penn State, number two Alabama, Sugar Bowl 1979. Tony Nathan waves his hand in the air for the fair catch. 12-25 left in this football game. Wishbone offense for Alabama. Penn State playing the run, 4-3 man run coverage. Rutledge. Sweep, Tony Nathan. Nathan cuts back, struggles for two. Bruce Clark on the stop. Second and eight. Penn State again playing the run, 4-3. Rutledge to pass. Rutledge throws. Complete. Oh, off the fingertips of Pew. Take care, Pops Review. Thank you very much. God bless you too, my friend. Third and eight. Penn State will now go to a... Hmm, let's go to a 3-3. Three, three. Nickel, man coverage. Suey will blitz the middle. Third and eight. We're playing the pass. This is huge for Alabama. Rutledge to throw. He has time. Underneath to Nathan. Nathan's got the first down. Nathan, the hot receiver. Rutledge looked downfield. Not much at all. Picks up eight. First down. That's a huge conversion. We're going to play man run. Penn State will go back to their 4-3. Defense beginning to tire for Penn State. It's a give to Nathan. Nathan bounces left, picks up eight or nine. It's an eight-yard gain by Tony Nathan. Alabama starting to roll here. Second and two. Second and two. We're going to run blitz. Jackson and Nathan are your backs. Jackson brought down in the backfield. The run blitz gets to Billy Jackson. Tony Pertuccio and the Nittany Tide swarm over Billy Jackson. Loss of two. Third and four. Third and four. Wishbone. We're playing the run. We're playing the run. 4-3. Rutledge. Billy Jackson. No gain. No gain. Penn State and Joe Lolly. Lolly, 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 get your adverbs here. You know what they didn't get for Alabama? Yards. Fourth and four. <laughs> Alabama to punt with Humphrey. There's the punt. Last time, Sui fumbled it. This time, it's Mike Gooman. Gooman cuts outside. Mikey Gooman picks up 13 yards on the 41 yard punt. 904 left. 904. Till Penn State can win a national title. 9-0-4. Can Alabama pull off the comeback miracle? 14-3 Nittany Lions. Suey and Moore are in the backfield. It will be a trap play to Matt Suey. Penn State showing confidence in Suey. Suey, big hit, holds on to the ball, no gain. Clock going, oh, and he goes off. Matt Suey goes limping off the field. Mike Gooman comes in. Trap play for Mike Gooman. Penn State takes it under nine minutes. Gooman on the carry. He fumbles. Who's got the ball? Penn State recovers. Oh, my God. That could have been a disaster as Alabama's defense swarming. Third and 11. Third and 11. Pitch right. Pitch right. To Booker Moore on third and 11. Alabama playing zone. Booker Moore picks up a block, but not much after that. Two yards, Marty Lyons and the Crimson Tide defense bring down Booker Moore. By the time Penn State snaps the ball, be under seven minutes left in this Sugar Bowl. Number one, Penn State 14. Number two, Alabama three. Fitzke to punt. Alabama jumped. Fitzke punts. Fourth and nine. It'll be fourth and four. Nathan with the fair catch. Offsides. Defense. We'll accept the penalty and punt again. So Penn State and Fitzke to punt again. There goes Scott Fitzke. Tony Nathan. Oh, he took a shimmy sham uppercut. Nathan's been getting punished on the punt returns. 
34-yard punt. Only a one-yard painful return by Tony Nathan. 6.41 left in this football game. We're going to play man pass coverage out of the 4-3. Oh, uh, Rutledge under center gives it to Billy Jackson to the right. Jackson picks up three. Tackled by Paul Sui, brother of Matt. Again, we're going to play man pass coverage 4-3. Motion for Alabama. Rutledge to throw. Rutledge looking, looking, throwing. Complete to Neal as he crosses midfield. Brought down at the Penn State 45. That's a gain of 23. Here come the Alabama Crimson Tide. Rutledge gives it to Nathan. Nathan bounces left. Picks up three yards. Matt Suey's okay on the Penn State sidelines. Penn State playing pass as time going Tick, tick, tick on the Alabama Crimson Tide. Time keeps on slipping into the future for the Crimson Tide. Crimson Tide go four wide. We're going to go 3-3 three, three nickel man coverage. 4.46 left in the football game. Rutledge incomplete through behind Beltran. Fourth and seven. They're punting the ball. 14-3 Penn State's defense, which only gave up nine points per game when you had everything out. Oh, what a punt. What a punt by Woody Umphrey. This is huge. Penn State has that their one. 14 to 3. Okay, we're going to go Hey Diddle Diddle Matt Sui Right up the middle From the one, Penn State In their end zone, Sui He is tackled No gain, almost a safety Holy cow Holy cow, let's give it to... I don't wanna... Wow, we can't even get the Booker more. Oh my lord, oh my lord. Matt Suey up the middle again. Penn State running clock. Suey! There's a positive yards. Gain of four. Rich Wingo goes off the field. Randy Scott comes on for Alabama. Booker Moore up the middle. Penn State just trying to maintain ball oh, Booker Moore first down what a run by Booker Moore Penn State running clock Alabama uses their first timeout they'll give it to Booker Moore out of the power eye there goes Booker Moore fumble Penn State oh my god they recovered it again holy cow the fumble gods are with Penn State Rich Wingo back on the field for Alabama Alabama uses their second timeout. They'll give the ball to Booker Moore out of the eye. There's Booker Moore. First down, a huge run for Booker Moore. Penn State running their way to the national title and a victory in this Sugar Bowl. Moore goes out. Bob Torrey comes in. They're going to hammer Torrey up the middle. Bama uses their last timeout. 250, uh, 2.53 left in this Sugar Bowl. Torrey picks up three. Four. Clock going tick, tick, tick. Give it to Tory again. Hut. Stuffed. No gain. Third and six. Tory goes out. Mike Gooman comes in. We'll take it to the two minute warning. Hut. Two it's minutes two left. Warning. In this Sugar Bowl, 1979. Penn State 14, Alabama 3. Wow, we've run for 148, uh, 198 yards. I'm going to have to tweak that a bit. In reality, I think they ran for thir uh, 30 yards or something. All right, here we go. Gooman up the middle. Gooman picks up a few. Fourth and four. And we will punt. 116. And counting in this football game. Fitzky to punt, and they cream Fitzky. They came after the punt. They didn't get there, but they got Fitzky. Frustration by the Alabama Crimson Tide. Running into the kicker. Defense. 
That is it. We will now take a knee. Even though that wasn't in there. So Fusina will just fall down. Put, put, put. Alabama. T tag him down. Once again, Fusina, the Penn State put, Nittany put. Lions are on their way to the national title. 14 to 3. We rewrite history in our alternate replay of the Sugar Bowl. And that is it. The Penn State Nittany Lions win the 1979 Sugar Bowl 14-3 over the Alabama Crimson Tide. Number one defeats number two. Penn State are your mythical national champions. Booker Moore, MVP for Penn State. 20 rushes, 117 yards, two touchdowns, two catches for 21 yards. So Penn State wins 14-3. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to show you. <laughs> The game, the highlights of the game I simmed. It was hilarious. It was crushing. So just, just you got to watch it. Don't go anywhere. So Penn State wins this. Let's go back. Bear with me a moment. Now, this is the game I coached. Again, this is for fun. And I'll tweak these teams a bit. Though I think it played fairly well. I think we got too many yards on the ground. Um, so I have to tweak. We ran well up the middle. Um, but it was fun. Okay, now let's go back, back, back. Now let's quickly go Sugar Bowl Season 1. Resume single season. I'm going to show you this. Don't go anywhere. You're going to have a good laugh if you've seen my streams before. So in this game, Alabama won 13-12. Let's go to the highlights. Alabama had a field goal. So they go up 3 nothing. And that was in the first quarter. This is the game I, I simmed. Now Penn State will try to tie it. Matt Barr will shank a Palouse. So Matt Barr misses his first field goal. Remember this. Matt Barr missed his first field goal. Still 3 nothing. Alabama. Rutledge will throw a pick here. So McCoy makes the pick. This is the in, uh, Sim Engine versus Sim Engine. Matt Barr will attempt to tie the game. This kick is straight and true and through. 3-3. Three, three. Now this is a game that I simmed again. Just watched. I watched it. Matt Barr for the lead. 6-3 Penn State. Now we come to an end of the half. McElroy makes it. It's 6 6 at the half. We move on to the second half. McElroy for the lead. It is no good. So McElroy goes Shanka Palooza. Barr with the game 6 6. Puts the kick up. And he makes it 9 6, Penn State. Put, put. Rutledge, Billy Jackson, touchdown. Alabama goes up. This is for put, put, put. Pulled it within one. Matt Barr, 6.04 left in the game. It's now 13-12. to 12. The final drive comes down to this. Four seconds left in the game. Oh, no. Put, put, put. So we picked up a fourth down. They picked up a fourth down conversion with Bob Torrey. And now, with four seconds left for the win, Matt Barr, the kick is no good. <laughs> and that was our sim. So all you Alabama fans, you got the win in the first one we did. I didn't coach. I just simmed it. So that was a lot of fun. And I just wanted to show you that to show that I wasn't cheating. But that was, and Marty Lyons was player of the game, six tackles, for Marty Lyons. Now let's look at the stats here. This was the Sim versus Sim. Penn State still ran for 162 yards. Uh, so again, that's it. Crazy kicking game. Yes, it was. Now that was Sim versus Sim. The game we played out, I won. Again, I do things a little differently. So let's go back to... And I created both these teams. Um... Uh, Let's go to Sugar Bowl 2. 
resume single season and the one we played we won 14 to 3 Booker Moore halfback for Penn State 20 rushes 117 yards two touchdowns he was the MVP of the Sugar Bowl and Penn State lifts up the Sugar Bowl trophy and the mythical national title let's quickly look at stats Total yards, 163, Penn State, 210. Uh, let's look at Alabama. Rutledge, 11 for 20, 113 yards. Got sacked once, no picks. Penn State fumbled a lot, but we lucked out that we only gave up one. Ugh. Fusina, we only threw the ball five times with Chuck Fusina. Um, for 21 yards, boy, did I just run the ball. Okay. Rushing, Booker Moore, 117, Suey, 45. Look at the fumbles here. Three fumbles by Penn State, but Alabama only recovered one. As Dwayne March's YouTube network says, missed field goal at the end of an Al Red Sox game. A re replay. What a surprise. I know, that's why I thought you guys would find it funny. Alabama, we really held their run game in check, but I... I, I um, Run! I pretty much ran blitz on every play I thought they were running. Uh, receiving, they had some success through the air. Penn State, we only threw the ball three. Uh, had three completions, two to Moore, one to Fitzky. Defense, Penn State, Lance Mel, ten tackles. Joe Lally had the sack. Alabama, the one fumble recovery. Who had the fumble recovery? Oh, that was on the punt, so they're not going to show that here. And that's it. So it was a lot of fun. So Penn State wins the one I coach. They lose the one that is simmed. You saw both of them. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank Dwayne Mart's YouTube network. Check out his wonderful channel. Steve Tate joined us just now. Thank you. Check out his wonderful channel. Bernard Strom Sports Replay Fan Channel just started his channel, so check that out and subscribe. Cleve Baseball Fan 879, our good friend Tim. Uh, another wonderful content creator in our community. Please subscribe to him as well if you haven't. JT 2.0, thank you. Pops Reviews was here, left, as he had to hit the hay. So check out his wonderful channel. Uh, continue to scroll up. Midlife Crisis shared a nice story of where he was when they lost the game. <laughs> Rich Atoni, or Atone, thank you, Richard. Dave Gardner was here. Brandon Lackey with his usual Ed Luther joke, which was a good one. And Jim L. Hope all as well. Remember to check out Dave Gardner's channel and Digital Dice with Ron Juckett on Spreaker or wherever fine podcasts can be listened to. Digital Dice. So thank you very much. Stay safe. Be smart. It was a lot of fun to play. Enjoy the games you play. Whatever games you like to play. Treat people that you want to be treated. God bless. I greatly appreciate your time. If you enjoyed the stream, hit the like button. If you have not subscribed, please do so. If you do subscribe, hit the bell for notification. Steve Tate asks, can you edit the announcers in? Yes, you can. And uh, you can get in touch with Mike in the truck, our good friend Mike. And they're good with that stuff. I'm sure someone did a Keith Jackson thing already. I shut off my, uh, you can either listen to me or uh, Christopher Slovak, and I couldn't figure out how to get, I wanted to have Christopher Slovak doing the AM radio call, but I couldn't figure out how to do that. There's a, I didn't see the thing to click on. So I just shut myself off, left Mike in the truck, obviously, for the the uh, uh, referee announcements. And you only hear me when I say um, at the end of the quarters or something. So. so thank you again. Stay safe, be smart, love you all, and peace.